What's going on gamers? Today we are going to go over how to set an admin on an ARK Survival Evolved server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. When playing ARK Survival Evolved, you might find that there are times where you just want to be able to use server commands, or if you're really having a hard time with the game, maybe you need to. And there's nothing wrong with a little help sometimes. Luckily, you can add players as an admin using a password that you can select for your server. By doing this, you will be able to access all of the in-game commands as you play. Whether this is to moderate the server, help advance yourself in the game, or using it simply to fly around with no constraints, it's easy to do when you set an admin. Let's go over just how to do it. First, head into your Apex server panel and stop the server. Head to the Customizations tab on the left-hand side and click on it. On the next page, find the Admin Password field near the top and replace the password using your desired password. Once you are done, changes autosave and you can return to the main panel page and restart your server. After that, you're going to want to launch Arc Survival Evolved and join your server. Once you're in, press the tab key to open the server console and enter the following command. After entering Enable Cheats with your admin password, press Enter, and you can ensure this works by using the Cheat Fly or Cheat Walk commands. Now that you have access to admin commands, there are two methods of using them. Most commands can be used through the in-game console from earlier. All of your available commands can be found at the Commands Wiki page in the description. If the cheat that you want to use has cheat yes in front of it, you have to put cheat at the beginning of the command. Here's an example. For other server details and cheats, you can also use the in-game admin cheat manager. This can be accessed in the server console through the following command. From here, you can view server information, adjust connected players, use the cheat manager, and more. To use a command, simply click on one in the manager, fill out the required details, and then execute it. If you want to always have admin access enabled on the server without having to use the command, then that can be enabled in-game. Open the GUI cheat menu. Under connected players, select your player name and press whitelist below it to add your name to the whitelisted player server. Let's go over some common issues. If commands aren't working for you, we recommend returning to the Apex server panel and double checking your password to make sure that it matches exactly what you type in game. If the issues are still occurring, just restart the server one more time and then try the commands again. If the GUI cheat menu works, but the manual commands do not, we recommend adding yourself to the whitelist through the GUI menu and then restarting the server before rejoining. If you're still having issues, make sure the command starts with cheat or admin cheat without the S. Setting an admin can be so helpful no matter which way you plan on using it. And trust me, there are a lot of ways. Don't forget to take a look at the command wiki page linked below to go through just how many different abilities you're capable of having with this new admin power. That's all for this one gamers. As always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time gamers.